There are numerous typologies, measures, and models that capture learning differences and preferences. Most of these approaches have focused on child learning, but there is evidence that these differences are important for adults as well. Let's take a look at learning styles. Learning styles refer to individual differences and preferences in how we process information when problem solving, learning, or engaging in similar activities. One approach addresses our preference for sensory modality. A sensory modality is a system that interacts with the environment through one of the basic senses. The most important sensory modalities are visual, which is learning by seeing, auditory, which is learning by hearing, tactile, which is learning by touching, and kinesthetic, which is learning by doing. According to researchers, about 20 to 30 percent of American students are auditory, about 40 percent are visual, and the remaining 30 to 40 percent are either tactile kinesthetic, visual tactile, or some combination of the above major senses. A second approach to understanding learning styles, the CLOB Learning Inventory, is one of the more dominant approaches to categorizing cognitive styles. According to David Klob, the four basic learning modes are active experimentation, reflective observation, concrete experience, and abstract conceptualization. Klob suggests that there are four basic learning styles. Convergers depend primarily on active experimentation and abstract conceptualization to learn. Divergers depend primarily on concrete experience and reflective observation. Assimilators depend on abstract conceptualization and reflective observation and accommodators rely mainly on active experimentation and concrete experience and focus on risk-taking, opportunity-seeking, and action. Although much has been written about cognitive learning styles, there are still wide gaps in our current understanding. There are many differences in how styles are conceptualized, and there have been numerous criticisms of Klob's measures and the underlying theory. Despite these limitations, evidence suggests that cognitive and learning styles may be important for understanding human behavior and performance in a variety of contexts. Finally, a learning style orientation measure to address some of the limitations of Klob's inventory identified five key factors. Discovery learning is an inclination for exploration during learning. Experiential learning is a desire for hands-on approaches to instruction. Observational learning is a preference for external stimuli such as demonstrations and diagrams that help to facilitate learning. Structured learning is a preference for processing strategies such as taking notes, writing down task steps, and so forth. And finally, group learning is a preference to work with others while learning. Learning styles, or individual differences and preferences in how we process information when problem solving, learning, or engaging in similar activities, are also important individual differences and in preference, and there are numerous typologies, measures, and models that capture them.